Meanwhile, as the pandemic rages on, hospitals are becoming overwhelmed across our state, and that includes the University of Iowa's hospitals and clinics. Our occupancy is, is closer to 85% um, in the Children's Hospital now, uh, which is substantially higher um, than it was last year and substantially higher than you would expect in September. Um, the Children's Hospital has mostly been uh, slammed by very high volumes of respiratory disease amongst children. Um, and so uh, at this point, it's been mostly RSV and croup, um, but there has been some COVID. So far, the hospital has only seen about eight or nine children with coronavirus, but right now officials say they're not worried about beds filling up. The main concern on their minds is staffing. So many employees have left the hospital that many workers are now having to come in on their days off. Statewide, um, there are, there are uh, bed challenges that are being caused by not having enough staffing, and we see that by uh, increased transfer requests from various different parts of the state when they're unable to staff the same number of beds that they were last year. Uh, and so uh, we are nationally having a healthcare worker staffing crisis. Um, in general, with this much hospitalization happening across the nation, all hospitals are having trouble uh, uh, retaining their staff and recruiting staff. Hospitalizations in Iowa reached their highest level so far this year. Currently, about 640 COVID-19 patients are hospitalized, with about 160 of them in ICU beds.